The mission of the Lincoln High School Transition Program is to help students and families prepare for life after high school and identify long-term goals in the areas of employment, post-secondary education, community participation, and independent living. Well, the mission of our transition program here at Lincoln High School is basically for the students to help them who have achieved their academic credits to help them and their families prepare for life after high school. Get them connected with the um, adult service agencies and all the opportunities that they have out there that will help them be successful in their transition for them to become independent and self-sufficient. The meaning is that it begins early at the age of 14, so we try to work that, start the middle school and build up from here. Then they go through high school and then they come into the transition program. It helps them from high school into the adult world. There are various state services out there that can help them for life or in the area of occupation, but it's up to them. So we're trying to teach our students to be self-advocates, to be as independent and self-sufficient. I can't stress that enough. My name is Chris and this is my second year in transition. Today I am working at the First Class Cafe, then I'll be going down with the cart to sell some of the stuff and I will be going to work, most likely Dave's, for a couple hours. I'm a new soul, I came to this strange world Hoping I could learn a bit about how to give and take But since I came here, felt the joy and the fear Finding myself making every possible My first year and right now I'm setting up the first cafe and then we're going to go to the Marriott Hotel for a conference bruncheon. So between the in-school businesses and the community businesses, they're developing all these work experiences, internships, and paid employment. The students who do have paid employment get minimum or above, which is awesome. We have a program that involves daily living skills, second post-secondary education, community involvement, and vocational skills. And these are all the areas that are important to the students for their goals for their future. My name is Ryan Strong and this is my fourth year at Transition. What are you doing for today? Do you have any other plans after this? It usually depends how I, where I go or how I, so I don't find out where I work until advisory. Oh. And maybe their goal is um, to be a writer someday. That may not be possible now. We can investigate certain things. But at the same time, I'm trying to teach them the proper work values, the work attitudes, and the work skills to have them successful no matter where they're going to be. As to the uh, cafe, we try to sell healthy snacks. Um, we do our best watching the cobs. Uh, but there's a little of everything there on the car. I'll be honest with you. Um, we help Mr. McNamara do any of his mailings, so that helps with clerical work, any filing that has to be done. Uh, we water the plants all in the hallways. It's a great experience for the students. They dress up in their chef jackets and their hats. You know, we do the Thanksgiving buffet every year, and that's a great opportunity because we have the alumni come back. Mm -hmm. And they think they're big deals because they come back and they just get to be served. They don't have to do all the work. Mm -hmm. And it's nice because the transition students presently get to see the students who have left the program. And I run an alumni program about once a month. Um, we take them out socially. So some of my students that I take out in the alumni program are 37 years old, mm -hmm. as long as I've been teaching. Mm -hmm they see those students who are here because I invite the transition students out with us with the alumni 
So between the parents talking to each other and knowing that there's life after high school and what they've gone through, so they share stories, the students get to see, oh, yeah. but my job as coordinator is to show you all the paths that there are out there to follow. Yeah. Yeah. Show you those connections. Can I make you go down those paths? No, I can show you the paths, mm -hmm. just like bringing a horse to water. I can't make you drink it. Yeah. I look at my students as, as having abilities and not disabilities. Each one of us has a disability. It's what you do with your abilities that makes you successful. And that's what's important in the program, and that's what I tell the students. Oh, me tell you to run away. Tell me I'm my way.